Barnsley Hospital's consultant anaesthetist Chris Swinhoe has raised £2,000 after completing an Ironman challenge for sport relief. Can you tell us what is actually going on here today? What are you actually doing? Uh, well, I'm doing an uh, Ironman triathlon using uh, a, a swimming machine and a uh, cycle trainer, which I'm on. And then I'm going to run outside, so I'm doing... I've done 2.4 miles on the swimming machine. I'm doing 112 miles on the cycle trainer and then I'm running a marathon around the hospital which will be 46 laps. So in total, how long today is it going to take you of all this physical activity? Um, well, I started at half six this morning and I'm hoping I'm finishing about six this evening. Can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to do this in the first place? Um, well, a number of reasons. One, obviously, uh, to collect money for sport relief, which I think is a good cause. Um, provides money for needy people both in this country and particularly in uh, very poor countries around the world. So there's that aspect and I've thought about doing something like this for a long time and never quite done it. Um, obviously it's sport relief so what I'm doing is sport related and um, it's also slight, slightly useful for me because I'm training for a Ironman triathlon which is what this is uh, in France at the end of June, so it's a good training exercise for me. So there's kind of three reasons for it. Were you quite physically active before this, and how long have you been training for for it? Um, well, I've always been uh, physically active all my life, really. I started cross-country running when I was quite young, you know, 11, 12, that kind of age. So, um, But I specifically started training for this um, last September, so about uh, was that five or six months. And have you been quite surprised by everyone's support? Because I know you've been filmed by the BBC, and you've got all these ladies here helping you, kind of shaking buckets for you. Well, I've had a lot of support, particularly. Uh, in fact, the person you haven't mentioned who's been particularly supportive is my wife, Julie, who's had to put up with me training all the time and has been very supportive of what I'm doing. Takes you know interferes quite a lot with family life. Trying to do something like this when you're training uh, up to 30 hours a week. So tell me about how can people donate if they've not come up to see you today? Um, yeah, then go on to uh, the Just Giving website, www.justgiving.com uh, and then forward slash Chris without an H, C-R-I-S, Swinhoe, S-W-I-N-H-O-E. And they can, uh, they can um, give money directly through that, uh, through that site.